Hey everybody, Matt Ruck here, and welcome to another episode of Pixelmon in Minecraft. Today I'm starting the first video of a series in which I go around and try to kill these Elite Four NPCs that Baka, Baka refreshes every week. And right now I have not finished my ultimate team yet. I have finished, the Cloister is still getting leveled up, and I, <laughs> I'm i still waiting to run into Adam so I can buy my Melodic. Melodic? Melodic? <laughs> but anyways guys. I just want to let you know I'm pulling like a level 100 team out of my PC. I'll show you what I have. I haven't optimized the items or anything, but I would still want to battle these NPCs every week because they do give you good items. So what I'm rolling with is a level 100 Mewtwo, a 97 Zapdos, a level 100 Tyranitar, a Charizard, Blastoise, and Venusaur. Now, Zapdos I chose because it's got Thunder Wave so you can get the Paralysis effects. Tyranitar, I mean, Tyranitar is just a powerful Pokemon with Earthquake and Crunch and the Sandstorm effect. It's really nice. I have Mega Charizard with the stone, and then I also am running leftovers on all of my other Pokemon. So Mewtwo does have recover, and I believe Venusaur has synth synthesis, so they should be able to heal him. But on top of that, I just have, I've got Pokemon of every type, essentially, you know, a broad range. So let's just jump right into this and see if we can at least beat the first couple of them in this video. So the first one is level one Trainer Jenny, <laughs> Trainer Jenny Jr. Alright, so we start off with a Spiel. I haven't actually tried this yet, so we'll see. Okay, so Spiel just one-shot it. Golette, I believe, is a stone. Uh, I feel like I should swap over to water. Hopefully it won't one-shot me. Point some stones. Okay, okay, we're good. See if we can Hydro Pump. Yes, okay, got it. Dratini, Dragon type. That's, uh, I believe Fairy type is weak against that. I don't think I've got... <laughs> Anything that qualifies as fairy. So I'm going to try to confuse it with Water Pulse. Uh-oh. He used Dragon Dance. Okay, so the bright side is at least this one looks like it's going to be... Uh-oh. Okay, no problem. No problem. It's okay. Oh, Stealth Rock. That's what it did. Okay. So this is a Ghost type. We should be able to... Side Strike. Yes. Oh, no. It survived. See, that Stealth Stone is good, if you can get it strong enough where it'll actually affect the Pokemon. So Beedrill, right now, it's pretty, yeah, so I already won. That was actually really easy. So let's see, we got an XP share and three Dusk Balls from that one. That was really easy, actually. I didn't have that easy of a time last last week on these things. So the next trainer is going to be trainer level 2 Kimono Girl, Mickey. And I do know that she's going to start off with a Flareon. So I'm going to go right in with a Hydro Pump to try to, uh, oh gosh... It's that berry, that berry, gosh dang it. Okay, that's alright, it's okay. Now I'm gonna kill it. We're good. Next thing we're gonna do, we're going to, oh, Leafeon, so we'll go to Charizard. This is her second one. Wait, how did it get the, okay, yeah, that makes sense. So we're gonna do, we're gonna do a flamethrower on it. It should hopefully one-shot it, I'm mega evolving, and I'm hoping, I'm hoping we can one-shot this. Get a little bit of an advantage. Yes, so it did get one shot. Espeon. Oh, no. Espeon. I want to go... Ugh. What do I want to do with Espeon? <laughs> I know she's got an Umbreon. Oh, gosh. Okay. So I definitely want a Thunder Wave. You kidding me? How the heck? Okay, so let's see. Let's see. What can we do? Earthquake. It does nothing. I don't get why it's being so ineffective. Okay, here we go. I needed a dark move. Yeah, what What was I thinking? Zap Cannon? Oh, it did paralyze me? Are you kidding me? No. Okay, Earthquake, we got one. <sighs> Dang it. So let's see. This is where it gets kind of tricky. Because we can do a side strike. Oh, it's still got the speed jump on me. So Umbreon is dark. We want to swap it up and go to... Uh, you know, I'm going to use Blastoise to take the hit. Oh, wow, it survived. And then I'm actually going to swap out to my Mega Charge and try to hopefully... Okay, good. I got the burn. Burn is fantastic. Um... See, this is where it gets tricky, because I know it can kill me on the next turn. Um, 
Yeah, that didn't do anything. Okay, okay, that, this is fine. This is actually not too bad. Because we got dra oh, dra Dragon. Because we were going to want a poison or a bug fighting. No! Actually, wow, Dragon move actually did quite a bit. So here we go. We're hoping for a quick... See, why do I have Vine Whip on this guy? Vaporeon, this is perfect. Petal Blizzard. Muddy Water. Okay, come on. Come on, Venusaur, don't. Yes. Oh, <gasps> guys. Oh my gosh, we get a ton of stuff in this one. Guys, we get three Dusk Balls. Oh <laughs> my, XP all. We get one of each, or no, we get five Dusk Balls and XP all, and then one of each gem, it looks like. Guys, this is definitely worth it. Oh, look at all these goodies. That is awesome. So everybody, I'm going to leave it there. I have successfully managed to defeat the first two trainers. I did end up trying to beat the legendary trainers. I I don't even I can barely beat two or three of their Pokemon because my team obviously is just not optimized for their battles. And uh, you know what? Sometimes you just gotta realize like, hey, I'm I'm not there yet. And that's why I've been tr slowly working on my ultimate team. And hopefully, hopefully one day. I'll be able to start steamrolling all four of them because if you can, as you can see, the second trainer dropped tons of stuff and it's all good stuff. I mean, obviously, Dusk Balls are amazing if you're are capturing Pokemon at nighttime and you get all those gems on top of it, plus an XP all. I mean, that's that's incredible. So, guys, if you can if you can manage it, I highly recommend going to battle these people because they are really good. And on a final note, I do want to mention Baka is working on another project in the battle arena area. So it's called a Dual Fest PvP event, and it's coming soon to Turniplex. And I mean, this is just obviously a little something that she's been working on building. But I just I figured I'd you know I figured I'd show you guys what's going on. Also, for the new Pixelmon update, for all the new Pokemon we're getting and updates and berry trees stuff like that, they have changed it to Pixelmon 5.1 now instead of 5.05 like I thought they were gonna do. I I guess it's gonna be such a big update that they've just decided to do a whole new like revision essentially. And now it's going to be 5.1. It's not a big deal. But, I mean, obviously, if they're going to go to the second number, uh, increase the second number, you know it's just it's not going to be a small update. They're adding tons and tons of information and content for us to enjoy this summer to this update. And it sounded like in the next week or two, we should be getting this update. I'm, I don't think it'll be this weekend, but I'm almost thinking that the following weekend, we should be able to get that update live so we can all enjoy it and hopefully capture a bunch of those dark cries and all those other legendaries we saw on those videos that xander made so anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this video i know it was kind of like an impromptu video i it's been a few days since i made one but i i just felt like i had to do something i've always wanted to kind of make the videos on these elite four um trainers that baka puts in here because they are tough but if you can manage it i definitely recommend battling them because they do drop incredible items for you so anyways, guys, on that note, I will let you go, and I hope to see you all next time. Bye, everybody!